Hi everybody, welcome to Live with Children. We're here in Los Angeles for ASGCT. It's the morning of day three, and I'm delighted to be joined by Andrew Mancini from Maxite, who is going to tell me a bit more about Maxite and what they are doing here this week at ASGCT. So first of all, Andrew, it's lovely to meet you. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm very, very well. Now, before we talk about Maxite and why you're here, how's the exhibition gone so far? It's been fantastic. Lots of great talks, lots of great booths. Just been great seeing everybody again after a year as well. Fantastic. Now, for people not familiar with Maxite, could you please first of all give me a quick overview of the business and what you actually do as a company? Yeah, so Maxite's been around since 1998, and for the past 25 years, we've been focused on creating scalable transfection technology. So what we do as a company is we have a cell engineering platform, which is used by hundreds of groups worldwide in order to electroporate their cells for a wide range of different applications. But in this case, we're going to be talking mostly about cell therapy. Right, okay. Now, I know you wanted to actually demonstrate a particular instrument you've got on the booth. So what did you want to talk about specifically? So I wanted to talk about two things today. So yep. we have the GTX here, yep. which is our flagship electroporation instrument, yep. which many groups are using for cell therapy manufacturing. And with the GTX, I also want to demo our R20K processing assembly. Right. This is what we use for the electroporation. And this is our newest assembly, which many groups are beginning to use for the manufacturing of autologous and allogeneic cell therapies. Brilliant. So I know you want to do a little demo for us. So yeah. please, far away. So what I have here is I have the GTX instrument. Yep. And just a little bit of brief background about what this is. This is our full-scale cell therapy manufacturing platform. So this is CGMP compliant. It is able to transfect as few as 50,000 cells or as many as 20 billion cells. Right. And you can use it with any cell type, T cells, NK cells, macrophages, monocytes, whatever you want to transfect, you can use this instrument for and have scalable, highly efficient transfection. Brilliant. And so we do this transfection using our range of processing assemblies. So the one I have here is called the R20K. And what this is, done is for is for a closed uh, transfection of between five milliliters and 20 milliliters. And if we're translating that more to cell numbers, think between 100 million cells and four billion cells. Right, okay. So that's gonna cover, you know, autologous applications all the way through some of your allogeneic runs. Right. And so I have the instrument booted up here, and this is the run setup screen. Right. So when you want to configure a new electroporation run, this is where your starting point is. And so we're gonna do a mock run today with one of our low energy T-cell protocols. Right. So for example, you might use this when trying to deliver mRNA or CRISPR RNP into an activated T-cell. Right. And so what we do is we select the protocol. Yep. So this is expanded T-cell one. We select our processing assembly. And as you can see, we have a whole range of different assemblies here, ranging from 25 microliters up to 100 milliliters. Right. We're going to go with the R20K today, yep. and we're going to run one assembly. Before you go on, can I ask you a quick question? Of course. In terms of the different things that you can do, can you add to it yourself, or is it sort of pre-programmed, so to speak, in terms of what things you can do with it? So all of the electroporation programs are pre-programmed. Right. However, for anyone who ever needs a new program, yep. we work with them to develop custom protocols all the time so we can meet your exact needs. Right, sorry to interrupt you, but yeah, I just thought people might be thinking, can I add my own protocol on it, so? No, of course, and honestly, on this instrument, we have some custom protocols lo loaded on it. Some of these custom B-cell protocols where, you know, there's always new science happening and there's always new needs. So we try to be as flexible as possible so that we can make sure that, you know, whatever our customers are doing, we can accommodate. Fantastic. Sorry, I interrupted you. Please continue. No problem. So once we have our parameters locked in, yep. we are going to click next. Yep. This takes us to the run setup screen. Yeah. This is typically where you're going to put in all of your information about the process. You can put you know, what patient you're going to be manufacturing for, all sorts of different info here. The only thing I'm going to fill in is that we are going to do a 15 milliliter run because that is what I've loaded the bag with. 
And then when we get next, when we click next here, this now sets, takes us to the actual run setup. Yeah. And all of our processing assemblies are incredibly easy to use. And you can really run through this and set up an entire run in under a minute. Brilliant. I'm going to do this a bit slower today to show you a, a little bit of the details here. <laughs> but essentially, what we have here is the central electroporation chamber of the R20K. Yeah. And so this can hold about 1.5 milliliters at a time. And so attached to the central electroporation chamber, we have three bags that you can see here. Yeah. We have a sample bag. This is where your cells and your cargo are gonna be loaded into. For this demo today, I just put some of our electroporation buffer in here. Right. We have a collection bag. This is where your transfected cells are gonna flow into. And then we have a preloaded bag of gamma irradiated sterile air. And this is what's driving the entire process. And so what is going to happen is we are going to attach this electroporation chamber yeah. to the center console here. And we are going to hook up our bags, yeah. one on each hook. Let me actually manage my tubing here a bit better. So we have our sample bag yeah. on the left here. We have our collection bag on the right here. And we have our airbag yep. is going to slot in on the bottom here. Right, okay. And so what's going to happen is once we start this, we are going to have our cells flow from the sample into this electroporation chamber. It's gonna get zapped, and then it's going to flow out into the collection bag. Right. Now, this is all being done using this bag of air which we will hook up to a peristaltic pump. Right, okay. One final note about this is today I loaded this bag using a syringe. However, these bags are attached via weldable tubing. So if you want to put on your own bags or own, you know, whatever you want to put up upstream or downstream, you can do that with a standard bio welder. So let's actually get this running now. Sure. So what we are doing is first, we have the bag sitting here. We have the electroporation chamber sitting here. We're now going to go through, and this is just step-by-step -step instructions of what I just did. Now we are going to open the pinch valves. Yeah. So that's these two parts here. Yeah. And we are going to feed in our tubing. This is silicon tubing, yeah. and that's just going to sit in the pinch valves, and these will regulate the flow. We're going to click next here. Yeah. Once we validate that everything is in the valves, we're going to close and then continue with setting up the peristaltic pump. What we do here is we have this little lever. We're going to put that down yeah. and we're going to feed our tubing, again, just standard silicon tubing in the peristaltic pump and close this. And now these rollers and the movement of the pump is going to regulate the flow rate right. of the entire process. We're going to move to the next step. Again, this is just telling you what I just showed you. Everything is on the instrument. So you can double check what you are doing and make sure that is all being set up correctly. But really after doing it once or twice, it, it's quite easy. Now we are going to just make sure everything is set up here. We have our two bags yep. hanging. We have the tubing in the pinch valves. Yep. We have the air bag with the peristaltic pump. And we have, of course, the R20K unit plugged in. And this orange light means that everything is hooked up and we are ready for the electroporation. So the final things we need to do are open the manual clamps here. Right. Okay. Of course, gonna make sure to massage out any kinks in the tubing. We have three white manual clamps. We're going to open all of these up. Massage it out. And now we have this full fluid path ready to go. We will prime the system to get rid of any air gaps up front. And so when we click prime here, you're going to see the peristaltic pump moves and now we are taking in 
some of our buffer yep. right into the start of the chamber. And so now we are ready to go. I'm going to click next. Yep. We have the big green light here to start processing. Yep. And when we click start processing, the instrument will begin charging up to the energy needed to electroprate. This takes about 20 seconds and it only needs to charge once throughout this process and then it'll process our entire batch. It's going to do about 10 cycles for this run and you'll see once we hit this, it's gonna be all automated. And so you can set it up, have it charge and then walk away and come back to electroprated cells. For a full run, 20 milliliters, it takes about six minutes in order to process all of the cells. Right. So that's up to four billion cells in six minutes. So now we're charged, and now the action is going to happen. So we flow in the cells into the electroporation chamber. It's been zapped, and now we're flowing out into the collection bag. Yep. And in case you missed that, we have a few more cycles that go, so you can keep following this. So the fluid flows in, yep. electroporates, and flows out. Flow in, yep. electroporate, and flows out. Right, I can see that, yep. yep. And this is going to continue until all of your sample is processed. We put in a volume at the very beginning. That is going to dictate how many cycles right. you run. However, if you miscalculated the volume or you put in the wrong number, you can always add on more cycles throughout the run, or you can also pause or stop the run if you dictated too large of a volume. Right. A couple things to note is that this is highly tolerant to air bubbles, so if you see a couple small bubbles in the tubing here, it's not gonna affect the run. Right, okay. And when we are running this with actual cells, we will see all of the cells be flowing through, the electroporation happening in here, and then your final cells being in this collection bag. We designed this assembly so that you get back the most amount of cells as possible. And so with this assembly, not only do we get our typically high efficiency and viability, we're also going to be returning over 90% of your cells for every single run so that you know, we know your cells are precious, we don't wanna waste it, and so we wanna make sure that you are getting everything back that you are putting in. Right. And so you see, we have now done eight cycles here. Yep. Running through. We have the remaining here. And now you see, one of the really nice features of this instrument is when we run out of the sample, yep the system will detect it and will stop the run. And this is to make sure that for any reason, if you have lower sample or big air gaps, yep. you can double check the system and make sure that everything is still working in order. In this case, I set up the instrument for more cycles than we had volume, so we could trigger this to show you some of the extra features of the instrument. And so we go here and we look at the bag Yep. And see, okay, the bag is empty, the tubing is clear. Yep. It looks like everything is electroporated. Yep. We are going to now, instead of resuming processing, we are going to say no, and now we get our green light, and everything has run completely. So we are going to click next here. Yep. This is the end of the run. Once it's all green, that means the electroporation has completed successfully. We are going to close the manual clamps. Yep. And this is to prevent our sample from running throughout the tubing. Once we open up the pinch valves, we're going to open up the pinch valves. Close them again. And now we are ready to go. Now we have our electroporated cells in the collection bag. Right. We can either put this back into culture by taking these out using a syringe, or we can, uh, we can weld off this bag and attach it to any sort of bioreactor that you have so that you can have a fully closed process. That's brilliant. Well, thank you for giving me such a thorough demonstration, actually. Of course. So, um, 
One question I'm going to ask you is that obviously this is a, obviously a really interesting product, and great product. But are there any other? How unique is it? And how different is it to what else is on the marketplace? I would say you know there's lots of different electroporation instruments out there, but with our GTX and specifically with the R20K, we see that we get the highest efficiency, viability, and cell recovery out of any assembly out there. So you can be sure, like I said, you're not going to be wasting the cells that you're putting in, and you're going to get back the best possible product at the end. Brilliant. Now, obviously, if people are here, they can come to the booth, which is stand number 355, if I remember yep. correctly. 355. 355. Now, obviously, people cannot make it, though. Um, where else can they get more information, and where else can they meet you? Because I know there's some shows coming up. Which yeah, so can you can up. always check out our website, I believe yep. that will be in the comments. And additionally, we will be at most of the major cell therapy shows throughout this year and in the coming years. So ISCT, we will be at, we will be at ESGCT later this year. And we'll be around the smaller shows as well, like ICLE and BPI. So if you're ever at any of these shows, please stop by our booth, check it out, and you can see this in person. That's brilliant. Well, thank you for giving such a thorough demo. It was really interesting. Viewers, I hope you found that interesting. I certainly did. Um, so if you're here at ASGCT this week in LA, you've still got a couple of days to come and talk to the team here at MaxSite. Come to the booth at 355. If you can't do that, then check out the link above the video and you'll see all the events that are out, including ICT, as Andrew mentioned, which is in Paris in a couple of weeks. And there's yep. another event, I think, next week as well. So look at the website, look at the LinkedIn page, and find out where else they are and talk to the team in person. So Andrew, thank you very much for taking time to give me that demo. And viewers, thank you for watching. Until next time, as always, Stay well and stay safe. Bye-bye. Excellent. Thank you.